Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. As you heard in that Stars Fell on Alabama clip that I just played, bending notes is a really cool way to add some style to your playing. How do you actually do it though? Right before I get into that though, if you've ever wanted to learn a simpler way to play some great sounding and coherent solos, I have a free masterclass called The Best Way to Create Melodic Solos. In it, I teach you my simple process to voice leading that will have you play more lyrical solos in no time. To get it, all you have to do is click the link at the top of the description or in the pinned comment, or you just go to davepollock.com slash free masterclass. All right, so how do you actually bend or scoop notes on the saxophone? Well, it has all to do with your embouchure. Basically, when you bend up to a note, all you're doing is going from a very flat note into an in-tune note. The way to practice this is pretty simple. The first thing you wanna do is just play an in-tune note. Remember, good tone quality, good intonation is always the most important thing when playing, so make sure you do that first. So right there, I was playing my middle F sharp, and I was looking at the tuner that I have in front of me. And that's a good way to make sure that you're playing with a consistent sound as well, because if you see the tuner moving all over, that means something is inconsistent. So the first thing, make sure you can play a good, consistent, in-tune sound. You can really pick any note, but I recommend picking a note in the middle of the instrument, which is why I picked F sharp. Once you do that, I want you to take the instrument out of your mouth and say this, e -aw. E -aw. Try that. What you notice is when you say e -aw, not e -aw but e -aw, your tongue instantly drops to the lower part of your mouth. You don't need to think about all those micro adjustments. I've talked about tuning in other videos and long tones and stuff. This is just about how to actually manipulate the embouchure. So say e -aw, e -aw. What you don't wanna do is just have it fall off completely. e, -aw, e -aw. But you wanna keep that sound going. e, -aw, e -aw, And see how far down you can bend it just speaking it. So to translate that to the instrument, the second step is you're going to play that same note, start in tune, and then keep the air moving and think that oh, sound and drop the tongue as low as you can. What you don't want to do is have the air completely stop because you dropped so much and you pulled your jaw away from the instrument or something. You want to keep that note moving. You want to keep the sound moving forward, but the pitch is going to just dive way down. You don't have to have a specific pitch in mind. You can try to do a half step or a whole step or something. Um, it's going to vary depending on, you know, your mouthpiece setup and all that and your read, depending on how hard or soft your read is. But just try to start in tune and drop it out of tune, just like this. Some people play with such a tight embouchure and they curl everything up here and they curl over their teeth so much that they're unable to do that without the note stopping. They get like a whoa sound. If that's you, that means you're starting with probably an incorrect embouchure, so I would work on that first. Bending notes, scooping notes is not to replace any sound on the saxophone. It's not to kind of cover up the fact that you have a bad sound or you play out of tune. It's just an effect that should be used in specific spots to add to your playing. All right, so now let's actually bend up to a note. How do we do that? Well, we basically just do what we just did. Instead of starting the note in tune and falling off, we just do it in reverse. So the idea of falling off the note and keeping the sound going is that you can actually play a note there when it's really flat, really, you know, way out of tune and under, and then you're going to get the tongue and raise it up until it's an in tune note. So basically the reverse of what you just did. Here's what it should sound like. The main thing to focus on here is actually getting up to that in tune note, hitting it properly in tune, but at the correct time. So whether you want a longer scoop or you want we, whatever it is, make sure when you actually get to the in tune note or when you're supposed to get to the in tune note, you're at that correct embouchure. One thing that people do that can kind of mess this up is when they do scoop up, they tighten up way too much. And yes, they do the scoop, but then their pitch goes way beyond and way sharper than the note is supposed to be once they're trying to get there. That sounds like this. That's not a sound that you want because yes, you're doing the scoop, but then when you get to the actual note, you're just squeezing way too much and it's gonna be out of tune and a bad sound. And remember, we do not want that. Also a worry is that you're focused so much on being loose and saying all so much and dropping it low that you don't ever get up to the note in tune and you stay too flat. That sounds like this. That's all there is to this process. It's literally just training yourself to think about dropping your tongue super far, super low in your mouth so the pitch goes very, very low with the note still speaking. You don't wanna just pull the bottom jaw off the reed and then there's no more sound. The cool thing about scoops and bends and really all these effects is you can use them in a number of ways. 
In the beginning, I played it on a ballad over Stars Fall in Alabama, but here's another really cool way to use it in a more bluesy type setting. I hope you've enjoyed this video and it helps you effectively bend and scoop those notes on the saxophone. If you're looking for more videos teaching you various musical concepts, well, you're in luck. I just created two playlists and I've linked them in the description below. One of the playlists is all about improvisation. So it's all videos on how to improvise and different methods, concepts, and lessons about that. And the other playlist is saxophone specific techniques. So things about only the saxophone. All instruments can use the first one for improvisation, but the second one's really for saxophone, so definitely go down there and check out some of those lesson videos. If there are other topics you'd like to see me cover, please let me know down in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.